and each always have something to bring to yeah. us. Yeah, and it's like people. Well, it's better than people to me. <laughs> <laughs> Travel is possible at any age. Your sense of adventure is just over the horizon. So, reach out and grab it. This is the Radio Vagabond. Gotta keep moving. I'm heading north in Vermont after my road trip to all six states in New England. As I was getting closer to the border of Canada, I pulled over at a rest stop at the side of the road to check some things and send a few messages before my American SIM card would lose connection. I travel with two phones, one with my Danish number and then one with a local number if I need that, so I'm able to get online. As I was sitting there deeply focused with my eyes on my phones, I got a shock when there was a knock on the window. I turned my head and there was a police officer with the right hand resting on the gun in his belt. This tightly built Hispanic-looking officer asked for my driver's license and my passport, and with these in hand, he walked back to the police car behind me. I'm very close to the, the border now uh, between the US and, and Canada, uh, and uh, I just start before the border because I have this American phone number uh, with a local SIM, and uh, I needed to check some stuff before I cross the border because then I might lose the data connection uh, to my, my, my phone number. So I just stopped uh, at a rest stop just before the border and uh, was checking some stuff on my phone while sitting here in the car. and. Um, all of a sudden, there was a, a knock on the window, and uh, um, it was a police officer uh, asking to see my driver's license and my passport and asked me what I was doing here. And uh, when I look in the rear view, rear mirror now, I can see that there is a flashing red and blue lights, uh, and uh, he's, uh, he's in the car right now checking my passport and my driver's license. And um, um, he, he told me that it's because we're so close to the border that... Um, they check up on, on any activity that's here, so everything's going to be fine in a, in a minute, I'm sure. Um, but uh, but I, was, <laughs> I was sitting with my phone and, um, and checking some stuff, and all of a sudden there was a knock on the window, and I really got a shock there. So, yeah, I'm sure everything's good. He's coming back. Sometimes it takes a while, sir. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Okay. So you're just uh, visiting us? I saw your stamp on your visa, August. Is this the last time you came in? Uh, yeah, so must be. Must be, yeah. So when are you due to depart, you know? Well, I'm going to Canada so for... WT is uh, work. What is what is that for? I, I landed in Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, So you're you're visiting or you're working here? No, I'm visiting. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a... I'm a, a a digital nomad. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm traveling uh, full time. Uh, uh, after a week and a half in Canada, I'll go to upstate New York, uh, spend a week and a half there for. So, did you just came from Canada? No. No. Okay. I, I came from Europe, landed in Boston, mm -hmm. been driving around New England, and now I'm going to Canada to see some friends. Uh, so, you're going to Canada now? I'm going to, I'm on my way to Canada. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's been yeah, that's that's that makes it a little more easier for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, and normally we don't have people around here unless they're going to Canada. No, if you would have told me that you're going to Canada. Oh, ah, okay. You yeah. said you're traveling around the U.S. Right? Around the world. Around the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm a full-time traveler. Uh, so and you, you got a lot of money. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I, I have. A, 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 I do radio, uh -huh. so uh, I have Danish clients, and they don't care where I am. Nice. Yeah, it's just, it's sweet. So I so been, this is good. So you you come at a good time. It's not cold, you know. Exactly. I'm yeah. I'm planning ahead yeah, a little yeah. bit. So yeah. So good for you. Good yeah, for you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm just producing a, a podcast for Lego, and uh, so that's really awesome. yeah. How how's the podcast going? Good. Yeah. yeah. So do they pay you for that? Oh yeah. So What's your podcast so name? Uh, I do my own podcast called The Radio Vagabond. Uh, Vagabond. Okay. Yeah. I'll the, check it out. The Radio Vagabond. I'll, I'll uh, check it out. Yeah. What is it about? It's about my journey and the people I meet. And oh, nice. Yeah. You, am I going to come out? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you interview people? Yeah. Or, or what? yeah. So yeah, that, that explains if you're going to Canada. Yeah, because usually 
I don't know if you know, but this is the last uh, exit. Yeah, that's uh, the reason I stopped was because I have an American SIM card on my phone. Oh, and you and got I, and, I, and, I, and, I need, and I needed to tell yeah. my friend in Canada that uh, please give me your phone number because uh, I need to be able to send you a normal text message gotcha, because gotcha. I'm losing data as soon yeah. as I cross the border. Gotcha. Uh, so. so I explained, you know, you got two phones. I'm like, why has he got two phones? Yeah, it's the Danish one and the, <laughs> the American one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That explains it. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. the radio vagabond. Vagabond, yeah. I'll, I'll keep an eye. Do you know that there's a duty-free here? No. Uh, you drink? I do. Oh, so they have... Uh, everything cheaper there. Okay, cool. So if you go there, um, it'll be way, way cheaper. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Yeah. This is nice. Huh. You, that must be awesome, man. Yeah. I've been doing this for, what, 10 years now? So I meet all kinds of people, too. So it's interesting, too, you know, this yeah. job. It's, yeah. it's uh, you don't know what you're going to get. No, you know no, what no, I mean? no, So, like, you could have been... Uh, you know, totally different individual. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're very nice, and, yeah. and that's how it but is. But I guess this this border here is um, is uh, uh, not the same as the one uh, between Mexico and U.S. Oh no, no. Yeah. totally different. Totally different. After New York State, I'm actually going to uh, to Texas. Uh, so, yeah. Texas, real bad. Uh, in Austin. Austin for for a conference. That's a good good place. It is. Uh, I, I want to I want to move there. And, yeah. I have friends there. Eventually, uh, I may go down and, yeah. and buy a house. With, 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 uh, Brown Rock. With your Spanish, where, where you were? Oh, so I, I was born in Dominican Republic. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's A friend of mine lives there. Yeah. Yeah. You been there? No, well, but I can't wait go to go. Punta Cana, huh? I can't wait to go. A yeah. friend of mine lives there. Oh, wow. He does a lot of kite surfing and oh, other yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, that's good. Mm. Uh, you know, you live in life to the fullest. And I am, I am. That's that's wonderful. Well, nice talking nice to, you. to you. All right, have, have a good have day. A good trip, yeah, thank you. Unlike the time I was pulled over for speeding in North Carolina, this was a pleasant meeting with the U.S. police force. And then he even directed me to where I can get some wine cheaper than on the Canadian side of the border. So I took his advice and did exactly that before heading across the border. Hi. Next time, where are the Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Where do you live? Uh, I'm, I'm from Denmark. Perfect. Where are you going? I'm going to uh, Bromont to visit a friend. And how long are you staying in Canada? Uh, week and a half. And after this, that week, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to New York State. What is the purpose of your trip in Canada? Uh, tourism. Just visiting your friend? Yeah. I do radio. You're a radio. I produce radio advertising for Danish clients. You bringing uh, alcohol? Yes, I'm. I just bought two bottles. Two bottles as gift for yourself, whatever. For myself and my friend. You bringing any gift to someone? No. Nothing else will remain in Canada. No. Weapons of any kind with you? Absolutely not. Thank you. My name is Pala Bo, and this is the Radio Vagabond, episode one ninety three. Welcome to Canada and the French-speaking Quebec province. This episode is brought to you in part by Hotels25.com. It's a website that helps you find the best prices on hotels and guest houses and hostels around the world in one simple search. Hotels25.com I've been invited to visit a unique place in the Bromont Mountains where I meet Patricia. She's been a clinical nurse for 25 years and a college teacher for almost 10 years. She has a bachelor's degree in health science and received training in therapeutic writing. So I think it's safe to say that care is her passion. But she's also had a passion for horses from a very young age and in the middle of her career, she decided to combine the two passions. She bought a ranch close to Bromont and named it Jardin d'Eden, the Garden of Eden. So Patricia, please tell me, what is this place? It's an amazing, wonderful place in the countryside here in Quebec. So thank you. Uh, here it's my, my dream. I began uh, my career, um, I'm a nurse, 
clinician nurse and I teach uh, until 25 years and I, I, I don't grow up with horse but close to the house of my dad they have horse so when I, I want in peace in my mind I go I go in the, the field and I, I see the horsey so I, I, I have horse all around my life, all the time. Yeah. When I teach, when I take care of human, yeah. I have always a uh, horse around me. So when my um, big daughter go to the university, I decide to uh, buy my uh, my home barn uh, because I want to um, uh, spare yeah. my love of the horse with other person. Yeah. So I stopped my career after 25 years. I buy here and another horse. Yeah. And I took care of a uh, horse who have, they have to stop uh, their career yeah. because uh, they don't, they don't can jump and they don't can run again. So I adopt this horse for horse and it's like a sanctuary here. For horse and for human. For, for retired horses. Yes, that's yeah. it. And uh, I took care of human with my horse now. Because uh, I I doing um, uh, something with my heart. I want to take care of human again. But not at the hospital. Not uh, I don't want to teach again. But I took care of um, people who have heart disease. Yeah. Uh, yeah the physical disease yeah. and uh, difficult with they have mental disease or mm. physical disease or trouble with heart so mm. in the mind in the heart or physically and uh, I share this place with these people yeah. so it's better for me and us all around all the time I said we have to take care of ourselves yeah. and uh, share with the other one yeah. Otto. we took care of us here yeah. Uh, so yeah <laughs> what was the thing that made you change your life to choose this I mean it's a, it's a big decision going yes. from having a steady job as a yes. nurse <laughs> to all of a sudden having this place with a lot of horses and you have Airbnb and you do massage and you it, it's it's a big operation it, yes. it's it's not yes. something you'd wake up in the morning and say I don't feel like going to work today I want <laughs> to have a farm yeah I think about that uh, when I was young and yeah. it, I think it's impossible for me mm -hmm. because I have to have the the big um, the big job the big house uh, the big car it's it's not life mm -hmm. it's 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 nothing you can have all you want. It's just uh, things. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know how to say that in English. It's not, um, it's not balancing your life. No. You, you can have all these things, but inside your heart, it's, mm -hmm. it's empty. Mm -hmm. Say, you can have big money and go to the, the, the mall and it, it's not life. It's no. not a life. No. I'm more poor than I have before, yeah. but my heart is full. Yeah. It's full of the love I, I yeah. share. And uh, my horse know what mm. I do mm. for them. They, they feel the love I have inside mm -hmm. and they feel the love of the hoisy. Mm. So it's more... Fulfilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's more filling and yeah. I am more full inside me yeah, yeah. of calm yeah. and serenity than when I, I have a sigil, a big job, and I have to manage people. And I think they don't be... Some people, yes, they don't be awake in yeah. the hospital and it's not the main energy no. at the hospital it's a short time of our life yeah. here I can uh, I don't know yeah. uh, I give them something uh, they learn to manage ourselves or our, our emotional and that's for me it's more important because they the children and I have a lot of teenagers, they go in the world after and they are yeah. full of yeah. uh, positive energy. Yeah. And they can heal, they can 
be secure with ourselves they can manage their yeah. emotional so yeah. that's people they came they, they I rent my uh, sugar shack my love it's like came here and we gonna take care uh, yeah. yeah yeah it's better than the yeah. big money you can have at yeah. your big job yeah. more uh, it's more accomplishment for me than what I do before so how many horses do you have Uh, ten and five pony, one goat, two dogs. <laughs> See, that's that's where the professionalism come in because when I say horse, I also I'm also talking about ponies. <laughs> I'm not talking about the dogs. I can I can distinguish there. The place is located on a century-old estate with access to a huge area and a magnificent landscape with a view of the Bromont Mountain, lake, and river. A short walk into the forest, she's got a very old, small building that she calls the Sugar Shack. It's without electricity and running water, and no Wi-Fi either, not even a signal for your cell phone. So if you decide to stay here, you're totally off the grid. Yes, out of the... Yeah, you are. Uh, the Sugar Shack is on the top of the mountain, and you are alone, no electricity, no internet. Uh, just gas lamp and uh, it's like going back in time yes and we're doing maple syrup m with my student here and they they came with us doing the syrup and the people when we don't do syrup maple syrup uh, the people came here for a sleep for a um, uh, peaceful retreat mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's like You go back in time. No noise around. No human around. Just your dog. It's you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they sometimes I ask you can uh, let your cellar in the barn if you want. Oh, the, the, the cell barn. phone. Yeah, okay. The cell yeah, yeah. phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in the barn. Yeah. And they said, oh no. After one day, they said, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's so we can hear the the sound of the the bird. Yeah. Uh, no noise about um, city or people around. No stress uh, in the world. How long time do people last there? Uh, two days, three, yeah. sometimes five. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Mm. And they. Oh, sorry. Oh, you have you have <laughs> the cell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 2 3 sometimes 5 days up there. Yes. Yeah. Are they changed human beings when they come down or <laughs> Yeah, they are so uh quiet. Mm. I see the 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 language of the body. Yeah. The shoulder is yeah. more uh relaxed yeah, yeah. and the shoulders they come have down and uh, a wrinkle here yeah, because the they're, <laughs> yeah, laugh line. And they said, "Oh, it's so peaceful. We yeah. can walk in, in the wood in the forest and It's not like you are in the city. It's not in the city. It's not yeah. life. Yeah. You run, you run, you run yeah. all the time. Yeah. 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 And they they searched that. Sometimes they came here to took a big decision in their life, mm -hmm. and they said, "Yeah, you're doing something good. I think I will thinking about that and yeah. change something in my life yeah. for be more yeah. peaceful yeah. and quiet and." That's the true life, yeah. Can can you help me describe it? Uh, it's a whole sugar shack. The men who I buy this field, this uh, he, he built uh, this uh, old sugar shack with the tree of the the field, the tree around here, and he built that old sugar shack for his family. Mm -hmm. uh, for fun, for mape for doing maple syrup, I have a lot of tree around. Mm -hmm. And when I buy here, you have 90 years old. And he, I doing my website, mm -hmm. and he see the picture of the sugar shack, and he write me a email. He said. I build the sugar shack. It's my sugar shack. What you do? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I. He saw it. Where, wow. Yeah. Where do you live now? He, he said I'm 92 years old and 
I will give you a picture of when I build this out and he give me a black and white picture of wow. him with the the wood on the shoulder, on the shoulder yeah. and he said my family doing maple syrup what you do now I do the same thing of you you live again your sugar shack is is happy to know that oh, I I because uh, 10 years before I buy it, it, it they have nothing here they, yeah. it's you have grass until here yeah no horsey it's like abandoned it yeah. so yeah. he's happy the man happy Mr. Fay to you know the this this place live again yeah. and yeah. <laughs> yeah. peace of peace <laughs> it's a piece <laughs> of peace in the forest so yeah. it's very quiet yeah. I said no noise uh, yeah. just family party when we're doing uh, uh, oh this uh, is people beautiful people live this morning oh. uh, this is so, so authentic. Uh, yes. uh, I feel I've I've entered a, into a time gap, and uh, I'm back in the uh, in the early days I with the uh, with gas lamps uh, hanging from the roof and. Lamp too, and okay. Uh, yeah. This old stove. Oh wow! An old stove mm -hmm. is is it uh, he heated with a uh, with wood fire wood yes. or? Yes, we kitchen with. Like yeah. in time, back yeah. in time. If travel is your passion and you want escapism while still upholding your work and family responsibilities, you can travel vicariously from the comfort of your own home. This is the Radio Vagabond Podcast. Horses are wonderful therapists, Patricia tells me. She offers therapeutic horse riding sessions adapted to your needs according to a personalized care plan. She takes me to meet some of these therapists. This one is Mowgli. We adopt uh, this horse because uh, they approach the end of his life. So they, he came. I go to search him at the other barns. You know, he, he lived there. He lived here um, with us. Karma, it's my baby girl. Karma, oh. it's the, the, the white one. I have her um, since she has uh, 20 months. And I have this old horse. His name is Mistral. Uh, he came in my life because a, a friend of mine go work very far away. And they let Mistral here for uh, the care of Kira. <laughs> Kira. Oh, it's for a fly mask. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one, it's my new one, baby Kira. She has four. And Nuga, Nuga live here. It's um, a Did pasiana. you mention something about uh, there's something wrong with the horses that come here? Uh, yeah, Mistral uh, have a disease. And I, I adopt um, Merlin. We can walk, mm -hmm. and yeah, I yeah. I show you Merlin. Merlin is a, a, a jumper, yeah. and he bro uh, he broke his legs when he jump. Okay. Uh, doing international jumping and competition. Oh. So, and I took care. Yes, I love you. It's virus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't come and say hi to me. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hear what they said so all the time. Uh, and uh, Merlin, you have to stop jumping because he, 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 he have a, a broken leg. I took care of him one year. I, he cannot jump again. So. But can he, he still ride? Yeah, oh. he's ill now. So I I learn Reiki and massage for my horse before, oh. and for uh, took care of. I do my job and I learn a lot of <laughs> things oh. because I want I don't I don't listen TV or so yeah. I want to learn all the time for my horse for me yeah. and yeah. and I I give uh, I took care of Merlin mm -hmm. and now he heal he's mm -hmm. happy to doing um, uh, horse hike hiking yeah. and he took care of people now That's nice. he cannot jump again but is yeah. a so good horse yeah. he's so quiet yeah. i call him dalai merlin 
<laughs> yeah. The people came here. Sometimes they have difficult with um, something big happens in their yeah. life, like uh, yeah. they lost yeah. people or they have a big disease. Um, they have uh, someone in their life they dead. So they have very something very difficult and Merlin know that mm -hmm. and they came here for the horse and they can heal they can they can cry it's I it's open so mm -hmm. you can are what you are like you are mm -hmm. at this time with the horsey mm -hmm. and they they know you they feel mm -hmm. you and you can Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> They're all friends. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I'm, I've, I've never been a, a, a horse person. I, I love the animals, but I, uh, I don't know if they love me. I've, I've never been oh, yeah, much sure. around. I'm sure they do. <laughs> but I have the feeling that this is, a, this is an animal where each individual has a very distinct personality. Yes. Uh, yes, they have different personality, and they is it, is it more than say dogs. Uh, yeah, yeah, more. They they can the horse can communicate with you mm -hmm. if your mind is open. Yeah. You You're a horse whisper. Yeah, <laughs> 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 and they they can feel what you have inside, mm -hmm. and they always want help you to feel better. Always. Mm. I, is that, is that, uh, yeah, they have something. They they have. Uh, they broke their legs. The Mistral have not good life when they he have a fall. But when human um, develop uh, confidence with them, they want to share. Some human cannot do that. <laughs> yeah. They want to share and take care of you. They want to know you. They they cannot speak. No. But if they feel you, yeah. and he want to to care of you, yeah. and so they they feel. Do you understand what yeah. I said? Yeah, I exactly. Search my and yeah, yeah, and and they, they so they they feel if you're in a bad mood. Yes. And you feel if they're in a bad mood. Yeah. Yeah. They feel that and they want to help you to feel better. Yeah. You can you can cry on the horse. You can feel very bad you can have something it's very wrong in your life you're going to hear what you feel mm -hmm. and they said okay it's gonna be better mm -hmm. so take a big breath and just walk with yeah, me yeah. just walk and go deep inside you and feel feel inside and tell to me or yeah. They share our, their peaceful inside to human. Mm -hmm. So connect you to me mm -hmm. and connect you. I guess that's also one of the reasons why it's such a good idea to have them do therapy with handicapped uh, children. Yes, yes. Because mm -hmm. they want to help. Yes, yes. And the children connect better with their emotion. Uh, with the horse because my mind is open my my heart is open i i you came here you have what you have i see you like you are right now mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the horse do the same thing so the horse help me to help the people and the the children came so i said to you before the world is so fast around so when you are with a horse you have to be there yeah Yeah, your heart and your mind have to connect there. <laughs> yeah. And um, and if you're not there, they can feel it. Yes, that's it. So that's why they help you to manage your emotion yeah. and feel. People sometimes in the city are they can cannot feel again what what I feel inside, what I want now. Um, I am angry. I am uh, in a bad mood. I am happy. When you are happy, you are happy. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But they disconnect, I think, with uh, 
the noise and the life was very faster. Mm -hmm. You have to be more simply mm -hmm. connect animals. It's mm -hmm. it's so fantastic to me <laughs> and to other people. And horse have maybe a sense. We have five, they have eight sense. I think yeah. they are so sensitive yeah. so so actually i was joking before when we were walking away and yeah. we heard the, the horse in the back that mm -hmm. we didn't go and talk to yeah <laughs> was he really trying to say something like hey yes so, so <laughs> yes it, yeah. that's it he said that to us so okay came hey! to me hey! <laughs> that's amazing yes. that's amazing and i was only i was only kidding really so yeah but they are all personality uh I love, I have a Canadian horse, a Afflinger horse, paint horse, it's different. They, uh. I have uh, three or four breeds and they are all different. Each horse, so the Afflinger is funny, they make you laugh. So if I have someone in my bad mood, I will take my Afflinger because he's going to joking with this person. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a funny horse. Yeah. You may, if you have a hat, you want to remove your hat. <laughs> They do like that. Say, hey, love me, love me, scratch <laughs> me, do something to me. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. you, can, you, you, ha you laugh because he, he push you to, hey, 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 wake up, I'm yeah. here. Yeah, so yeah. I am funny. Yeah. <laughs> Be <Attention>. smart. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, Paint or is more or is you have to be very uh, ground yeah. and they want to teach you how to uh, harm the horse, how you you and each horse have something to bring to yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. And all of my horse, they are a group have something special mm -hmm. to yeah. uh, share with us. It's like people. Well, it's better than people to me. <laughs> the ranch is a peaceful place where calm and healing are priorities. They also offer unforgettable hikes. And apart from the refuse in the forest, the primitive sugar shack, she also has a luxurious loft apartment above the stables. So there's a lot to do in a place like this. Two Airbnbs, therapeutic riding sessions, massages, hikes, plus 10 horses, five ponies, one goat and two dogs that needs to be fed and cared for. It's a lot of work. But Patricia tells me that it doesn't feel like work. I want to wake up every morning and I don't think I work. When I, I, I I'm teach at the college or I go to the hospital, I work. Mm. Here, I don't work. I'm tired, yes. Yeah. But when I sleep in the time, <laughs> I'm more rich inside yeah, no, I'm than I've never been before. I want to wake up in the morning. I'm so happy to come here and see my horse, know different people. In the Sugar Shack, I have people of uh, all the country. They came from uh, New England. Australia, uh, Amérique du Sud, and I'm just a little ranch. So they came here and they, they said, oh, it's the sugar shack. I want doing horse, but why? <laughs> I think horse have special and uh, each people have a history to tell me. So I speak and I think I, I, I go around the world because they came here and they speak to me about her uh, Our life, our problem, what they have inside their heart, uh, what they do. Just just a, a very quality time in a short time sometimes. Sometimes it's more longer. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's like you put your button to pause. Pause? Yeah. <laughs> a, a pause in the life. Uh, yeah. To reconnect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're in the area and want a pause in your life, and spend a few days at Patricia's Sugar Shack or her loft above the stables. Surrounded by the 10 horses, five ponies, one goat and two dogs, you can find the links to her Airbnb in the notes for this episode and on the radiovagabond.com, where I've also posted some pictures. Due to COVID, it's not possible to visit right now, but probably again very soon. This episode is brought to you in part by Hotels25.com. Whenever you need a hotel anywhere in the world, go to Hotels25.com. That would get you the best price. Hotels25.com searches a 
bunch of the biggest hotel sites in one simple search. Hotels25.com A special thanks to Patricia Senecal, who took the time to show me around her Garden of Eden and educate me about the wonderful life with horses. I'm heading back to the U.S. after a few days in Bromont, Montreal and Toronto to visit some friends here. But I'm not going to be recording anything from this since I've already done quite a bit from this area the last time I was here. So if you're interested, go back and find these episodes. When you hear from me again, I'll be in the wonderful Finger Lakes in upstate New York. My name is Palabo, and I gotta keep moving. See ya! Produced by RadioGuru.co.uk